out of the 171 defendants charged with causing riots and damages under Section 67, Subsection 2 of the Criminal Code Act, 165 adult males have been sentenced to three years in prison each, while three juveniles received one-year sentences. The court's decision came after the magistrate Nasaling Bingtao ruled on the matter. The court opted for imprisonment over fines, citing the severity of the damages as a deterrent. Six defendants have pleaded not guilty and their cases will be revisited on August 14, 2024. Arrangements are currently underway to transfer the sentenced individuals to Boram Correctional Service, with remand warrants being expedited. East Sipik Provincial Police Commander Christopher Tamari commended the swift response of all units involved, attributing the successful intervention to prioritize actions. He assured that the East Sipik Police, under his leadership, will continue to uphold the rule of law. Tamari also noted that an investigation into the initial cause of the unrest is ongoing, with hopes for a breakthrough in understanding the origins of the disturbance. James Gukan, National MTV News.